Hey guys, I hope everybody is having an absolutely wonderful day and welcome back to some England Anglophile 2.0 as I've been calling it here in EU4. We are the King of England, the King of France, the King of Castile. And uh, I actually haven't really looked too much at what we want to do with them. Uh, I am rival to Aragon right now. Oh, I'm not rival to Aragon right now. Hmm. I was going to say, maybe we could do a quick uh, humiliate on them. But I think what I'll do instead is I will uh, use their claims to start uh, conquesting Aragonese land. So, oh, that's going to take some time. But we'll be able to get tons of permanent claims with them. And so using Castile's mission tree is going to be very useful. What about France's mission tree? I haven't really looked much at that one either. Brest Dockyards, uh, give them a dry dock over there. Which will allow us to strengthen the old alliance, which uh, won't be able to happen. Right, we gotta conquer Normandy, huh? Yeah, so they're not gonna be able to do these two, the Musketeers. Yeah. Yeah, not much. They're not gonna be able to do much. What'd they take for their idea? Economic, not bad. Expansion in Castile. Hey, a free stab. Up to three stab. I am very happy with that. So, let's have you guys head down here. We'll gotta start sieging down these guys. Looks like my vassals will continue to uh, beat the tar out of these guys. Look at that, they just stack wipe their six stack. They only have three, us three units. Uh, so these provinces, I'm gonna give them as much as I can. Ideally, I give them as many forts as I can. Uh, these, this here, Nevers is 13 dev. Without a claim, we might not be able to yoink for him. We'll see. We will see. Let's just barrage that wall there. I could use my mill mana to dev up a bit. But, um... You know what? I, I definitely should. Let's do that. Dev the mill mana. Look at this. Our max manpower, 55,000. 57,000. Let's actually take a look now. Number two in the world behind the Ottomans and not very far off. Feels good, man. Feels real good. So these guys over here, let's have you guys peace out. Give us your war reps. I should yoink his dev again, right? Three dev from his capital. We just keep on slowly picking away at the dev of Hess and get sending it over to London. Um, let's actually see here. Do I have any of these clicks that are useful? Eh, not really. A few of them. And then um, he needs to win that siege there. And we're going to have him get full annexed. Uh, Bordeaux. I can just lose the money. It's not a big deal. It's not ideal, but it's not a, it's not a huge deal. Constans. More reps. Yoink Dev. 11 Diplo. I can handle that. No coalition. Though I do need to be careful because I am actually, like, accruing. <gasps> Mamluks just sent me an insult and they said that I suck and that they hate us. Uh, you guys are really, really weak right now. Very pathetically weak, actually. I'll be able to rival some people. We uh, probably should send an insult to uh, these guys to make sure that they know that we, they suck and that we hate them as well. Um, and then... And send an embargo to them. We gotta make sure we keep our PP as big as possible. Big PP is a good deal for us. This is his capital, by the way, so that's good. Let's have you guys come up here. Where are you guys going, huh? Let's uh, just carpet siege them down over here. These guys... What in the world? How long have you been on this fort? And how long has it been on 49%? What is going on with France over here? What is this? Look at this. There you go. Alright. 52. Yep, not gonna happen. I will take the core, since that's what we uh, declared the war for. And... Um, take your trade power and your money. Since uh, you got trade power in areas that I want it. A nice long truce is fine. Doesn't hurt me. Here we go. Push these guys out of there. Siege them down. They attacked me right there. I was the defender. See, they were the aggressor. So let's see if Nevers could go to them. We'll see. I am not going to get my hopes up. At least going to take his claims. We'll see what the AE looks like. Okay, just kidding. We will not take his claims. I bet he's got some dev over here. It's only 12, really. What about, like, picking up an ally somewhere over here? Let's see here. 
Could get an ally in like, um... Austria. Oh, he would totally ally me, wouldn't he? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> you guys are gonna like this. Uh, we're going to do this. I'm gonna take all of his money as well, because why not? We're going to turn around and immediately... Oh, he doesn't want to ally anymore? Sheesh. Um... Wait one month. Ah, crap, and they're hostile to me. Okay, let's see here. Can I get an ally over here? Yes, 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 yes. This is good. So what you do is you uh, start finding some allies that will defend you. Let's rival the Mams. Let's see here. Who you rival to? Mams. Enemy of Lithuania. Bet we could get Lithuania. So Hungary, this is a good one because Hungary's got cores on a lot of other provinces. Uh, any veteran of the game is going to know what I'm getting at here. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to invoke um, a coalition war. Defend to the best of my abilities on this front. Let Hungary get occupied and then release his cores as a, um, as a peace deal. So I'm okay with them going in on me like this. Austria actually joined the coalition. That's crazy. You know, if I improve relations up to 50, they will actually leave it. A lot of people don't know about that. Let's also send a regular insult to these guys so we can get our PP as big as possible. And then we need to send a rival or a um, embargo to them. Have, always embargo your rivals. There's no reason not to. You literally don't lose anything from doing it. Let's get these guys over here and let's get these guys like split. So this is what a shuffle split is. Uh, and, and I'll explain a shuffle split real quick for those who may not know. Shuffle split is when you have two... Pro so let's just say we have, like, these guys here. These these two stacks. Okay. We have two stacks. A 28 stack and a 9 stack. But I want them to be roughly the same. All you do is you split the one in half. Split the other in half. Have them go into each other. And there you go. You got a 9... Since we had an odd number, obviously, we can't have a perfectly even. But we have 13, 3, 3. 12, 3, 3. Shuffle split. Shout out to Roomba. Good stuff. So, let's have these guys suppress rebels for a bit. We're probably going to get attacked by our coalition. I don't care. I do need to make sure that these guys don't have any loans. They have no debt, and they're a great power. Very good. So, let's improve relations with them. And I may even curry favors with them a bit. I'll row Amer Scotland. That's fine. Edmund 10 will come when it comes. <laughs> our innovativeness is up to 2. 21.2, which means we get 0.212% all power cost discount. Very strong. All power cost means cost of any mana that you would spend ever on anything. It's really, really good. So let's see here. He has no claims or cores on anything other than my land. Orleon has those there. Castile's got these claims down here, so let's attack. To be honest with you, I'm fine with looking weak. Uh, let's go with, like, Alicante, or however this is pronounced. I have no diplomats to send, so let's recall you. More people are joining my coalition. It's likely to fire, to be honest with you, especially if we're in a war. So I'll just let my vassals handle this. All I need to do is defend his lands and then let him get occupied. He won't even get super upset. It's, it's almost certainly going to fire. Almost certainly. Let my vassals handle the war down here. I don't, I don't care about it at all. Though I will uh, get my heavies built up here. And let's actually get a few more heavies. Six. Twelve total. Sounds good. Should probably get a flagship here, huh? So let's go with... Uh, what's, a, what's a good flagship? I'm actually not familiar with like a famous British ships. But obviously we're going to go with... HMS Posh Gentleman. And this will be the uh, fleet morale. Engagement width is very good. And then um, movement speed is the one that I like to do. So you can catch those pesky uh, ships that keep running away. Uh, will not reduce mercantilism. Absolutely not. So let's also make sure we curry favors with these guys. Keep them nice and loyal. Attack me, I dare you. Look at that. Not bad, huh? Naples is not in this war, so I don't care about them. 
These guys, I'm going to give them everything they have claims on at the bare minimum. Let's give that to Castile. Uh, Castile, Castile, Castile. And I'll actually even give them that because I believe they have a mission for that as well, do they not? Navara. Subjugate Navarra after they get prepare the Reconquista. So they just need manpower and to build up to their force limit. That'll be easy enough, right? Okay. Uh, let's see what that would cost us here. A lot of AE. I still might take it. <laughs> Full send, right? These guys over here. Getting into a fight in the, in the mountains here. What are you guys doing over here, huh? What are y'all doing over here? Get out of my swamp. And there you go. So, they declared the war. Uh, so if you take a look here, this is what the coalition war looks like. It's fine. I'm definitely going to have to slow it down, though. Um, let's have Castile occupy that, please. Basically, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to have these guys stand here, play defense. Uh, the fort zone of control here is pretty solid. They can come in through up here. This is our weak spot up here. Um... Actually, no. There's a fort zone of control right here, but they can march right onto Paris. So until they uh, we get up here and we get like Picardy and and uh, those forts up there, we're gonna be able to. We're not gonna be able to do that. Um, I'm just gonna actually click this. I think this doesn't bother me at all. I don't need papal influence. It doesn't matter to me. It hurts my relations with my vassals though. But it gives me national unrest, which is solid. Stab cost modifier prestige. Yeah, let's just click it. I don't care. I don't care about people being papal controller. We're going to end up ditching it for... Um, oh, Francis papal controller right now. Very funny. We're going to end up ditching it for um, Anglican anyways. Got a lot of comments about that. Of course we're going to go Anglican. Why wouldn't we? You silly gooses. Oh, yikes. They're reinforcing over here. This is woods. This is not actually good for me. Uh, let's see if I can get a better general in there. Bro, you guys are all trash. They're all trash. Whatever. All right, it's fine. We have plenty of mill mana. There you go. So you'll get him in there. There, yeah, they're dogpiling real hard. That's a minus two even. Ooh, army tradition. Always take army tradition if you can. Wish I would have gotten that before I. Uh, oops, I uh, just sabotaged France right there. He might get stack wiped even. Look at that though. It's a lot of men right there. Sitting here on this woods fort. Fine by me. So all I want is for them to get occupied, at least a couple of provinces, and then I'll be able to, ooh, or win, <laughs> or we can win. I, that's fine too. Um, yeah, I'll just sit on that war. I don't care. No, that was just me being dumb and attacking them in the woods. Yeah, if they want to come onto like defensive forts, like this is a hills fort right here. This is fine. I will gladly take this fight here. That's what I thought. Let's just stand here and let them come on in slowly over time. These guys are in war with these guys over here. Okay. They're getting sieged in another war. Pope man coming down here. Kind of annoying. Let's take out the ones that always take your 10 to 1s. You know this. Flanders. Goodbye. Especially in a coalition war where it's a show superiority. Sadly, they're actually only targeting me because I'm the player. <laughs> but uh, there you go. We want a couple of these provinces to get occupied over here. They actually paid to barrage these walls. That's really good for us. Okay. Uh, I suppose we just get these guys down here. As long as I'm not seeing anybody on my land over here, like I'll, I'll gladly come down here and fight them here. This is fine. There's no downside to it, right? Can I catch him? I cannot catch him. So, just have him head back up. No big deal. As long as he's not taking my occupying my land, I, I don't care very much. Aragon will be able to piece him out soon. See, these guys are up here now. We'll just march on up here. We just keep marching back and forth. Uh, meanwhile, he's getting occupied. So, as you can take a look here, if we were to offer tribute, we would be able to return or uh, release nations. I could have... Maybe he needs to, they need to occupy that fort over there. But uh, if I release a return cores here. We'll see. 
not exactly sure. Uh, we should probably get these guys off Calais. That would be good for me. Regency's gonna end. I'm okay with it ending. Ideally, we'd be able to get the tech discount. At least on mill. Be done in March of next year. So, th I'm okay with that. That's fine. Because tech will be over by then as well. It's a three-star general there. Not bad. Let's get you in there. They're going to reinforce. So will I. And there you go. Easy enough, right? Get you guys down here. Okay, very good. So these guys are getting occupied now. I guess they just need to own a fort. See, like, I could have him return his, that core to Sealy. And they're actually almost, like, it's really good for us. I was hoping to have him release. Maybe they have to occupy more of the Croatian stuff. I don't know exactly how that works. Uh, okay, these guys are just dumb. That is a, an easy stack wipe. Ooh, they're reinforcing a ton, but they're taking a minus two. So, uh, yep, to their detriment, of course. Get you guys out of there. This uh, war over here is almost done. Just need a couple more occupations. No big deal. My manpower, totally fine. Totally fine. As you can see, we're hardly, we're hardly struggling here. To uh, get some trust with him. <laughs> I want you to trust me, bro. And this is the dream right here. This is the dream. His capital has been occupied. Offer tribute. Let's have him return that core here. Release Bosnia. <laughs> oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, it's too funny. It's too funny. I can't have him release Croatia, just Bosnia. Release Bosnia and return that core. I lose nothing. Coalition is gone. Obviously, I still have a ton of AE with these guys, but uh, it'll tick down over the coming years. Some of them are already not able to join. And by the time, the truce is huge. Remember, the truce is absolutely enormous with that war. Look at that. That is a 12-year truce. So, uh, you know, I'm not worried about anything. So I'm going to wait until the new year. And hopefully be able to take Diplotech. Probably not, though. We'll see. Admin tech we can take. So let's take it. Let's go... Uh, yep, that's fine. Take mill tech on the yearly tech, of course. Basically, we just want to prevent losing literally any and all... Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. How did that happen? How did you guys get on my capital? kind of a sick joke is this? What kind of sick joke is that? How did they get on my capital, chat? How long have they been on my capital? That's my question. It's been a minute. There you go. Right. We got our next reform here. And I forgot to mention this. We have the English monarchy, which uh, gives us unrest, legitimacy, a little bit of governing cap. Uh, hurts our absolutism but it allows us to get um the parliament for free meritocratic recruitment is overpowered always take it burger loyalty and equilibrium is great uh cheaper advisors is great let's also make sure we take this and then this and then our regency will end next month and we got all that tech and we even got it with a is that five percent discount not bad at all i will i can live with that um, and our next I, admin group, I've gotten questions about what we were going to go next. Going innovative first, um, I'm always tempted to go with something that will jive with it well. Um, innovative has really good policies with both quality. It used to be 20%, now it's only 10%, but 10% infantry combat is still quite good. Uh, it also goes well with offensive, giving extra siege ability, so you get an additional 10% and a siege pip, so it's 30% siege ability, which is 10 days off of the base really strong uh plus discipline is good i mean offensive is just good in general for better generals um as far as what we got over here innovative trade eh. innovative explo what does that give us global trade power and settler increase eh. influence advisor cost and ae impact Ooh, i don't hate that 
Innovative Diplo gives advisor cost and Diplo rep. Hmm. I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know. What do you guys think our next idea group should be? I'm very curious. Volgast, huh? You guys want a personal union? Not quite. They'll come around. Let's get more manpower. Always more manpower. More production efficiency is really good as well. Very good. Let's uh, make sure we're topping off our relations with these guys as well. Kind of important. Um, I don't have any papal influence, so I'll just take the prestige. It's good. Hey, nice. 20% improved relations. Well, that is really good. That's going to help our absolute, our, uh, in a, our um, aggressive expansion tick down quite quickly. Look at this. We're losing almost 4 AE a year. That's really good. Provincial Separatists? Yeah, you'll have that, you know. Can't act like I'm surprised. Let's have you guys come down to Paris. Hey, you looking? 19,000 units, not bad. 21 over here. How am I still not winning this war over here, though? That's the part that's blowing me away. Oh, they have... Wait, Naples is their vassal? Oh, okay. I, at this point, I'm just so used to seeing them give up Naples, like, every single time. Ferrara. I guess we just need to sit on them for a little bit. It's not a big deal. Where is my heavy ships? Let's just have them come down here and blockade Naples. That should give us plenty of war, ex or war score. There we go. There we go. And, uh... Coalition... May or may not happen. I'll take wait it on the early tick. Maybe worth it to actually wait even one more year. Yeah, I'll wait one more year. As you can see, we're growing pretty quickly, right? I got some questions about no C being Byzantium. You sweaty nerds. So many people think that you gotta do all the cheesy stuff to even enjoy the game. Shaking my head. Let's get you guys on uh, the dev edict over here. Let's also get you guys back on the trade edict. So we want you to be up to... There. And then when we're done with the war, we will... Uh... Oh my gosh, they're taking their stuff back down here. You sons of guns. How are you not just, like, imploding? A 12 war exhaustion. Somehow, still feeling ambitious. He's like, you know what? I think we can handle this. I think we can handle this war. Medium enthusiasm. They're making gains. Making gains, right? I'm just letting this, uh... Tick forward here. You guys will, uh, get your capital pillage. Sounds good. Give me monies. I will gladly take monies. So this war... Okay. On the yearly tick, it'll go up everybody through Rothenburg. Um, I'll wait one more year, because that'll take everybody up, up to Florence. I mean, if I can prevent a coalition, I will. There's no reason to just take it, to just let it happen. If you can prevent it. Let's go with the land maintenance guy. I don't need that. Uh, I'll take the innovative miss. Yes, please. I'll take the papal influence. I I don't. It's fine. Let's get over here to Cordoba. Oh, even better yet. No, actually, that's not better yet. But that's okay. I'll still fight them there. I'll even white them there on the mountain fort. Oh my goodness gracious! Now we have the call for pizza. The plebs demand pizza. There we go. Now they are wiped. Get you guys up there. Wait until the yearly tick. And I think we'll be good then. Call for pizza doesn't mean much early on. 
There we go. Um, you know, I'll hold on one more year. Just one more year. Let's take that. I'm so tempted to just say screw it and go with offensive. Offensive is just my favorite because the siege ability. How do you guys feel about that? Hopefully you're cool with it. If not, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to have to 1444 it and restart. Advisor cost. Sounds good. Embargo efficiency. Light ship. Land maintenance. Sounds good. Bribes. Placate. Uh, take sides. Placate. Admin support is fine. A little bit of admin mana. I'm going to wait one more year. You can see our war exhaustion is going up just a bit. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. But I hope you guys are enjoying. I certainly am. If you are too, do please make sure that you uh, show your support by leaving a like on the video. Truce of these guys is up next year, and it looks like they're about to break free with the Pretender Rebels, which is really good for us. But yeah, if you guys are enjoying, show your support, leave a like, subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff, uh, if you have not already. And then also, if you want to support, you can check out the Patreon linked in the description below, as well as my uh, Discord, Twitter, any of those useful links, they're all linked in the description below. And all of it is super, super duper appreciated. Let's uh, make sure that these guys are nice and friendly with me. They have to know that we love them, right? That way they'll come to war if I get attacked by my coalition again. Two more months, and that should get us all the way up through Brabant, I think. Brabant and Aachen should not be able to join. We'll see. Yep, very good. All right, this is manageable. We'll take all of his money, too, because screw him, and there you go. Welcome to the fold. Uh, I'll have, like, these guys head down here for now. Absolutely. Not bad, huh? How we looking? Woohoo! Beefy, beefy. All right, so in the next one, hopefully these guys will break free and we'll be able to reconquest that for Orléans because it looks... Oh, they're still not being or annexed yet, but uh, soon enough. And uh, we'll start considering our expansion routes other, other than that. Looks like that's a big sus, sussy, sussy among us. But uh, yes, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. That's all I got for you, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top supporters for the month of June, Drunk Binary, Mr. McFlew, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jacob Chinsky, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, Thara, The J. Baller, Blonde Damon, Draco R. Havis, Corbett, Chick Potamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Mark and Glad, Harry, Hey Murado, Jay Cutchell, and Winkler, R. J. Pilot, and many more. You guys are awesome. Consider supporting if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.